I've been very lucky to be able to film the Turkey Boogie the last three years. It's just a three-day basic extravaganza where, you know, base jumpers from all over the world convene on Moab, Utah for three days of base jumping and fun and festivities. And um, the event itself has been going on for nearly 15 years. And then within the last three years, Matt Lodge had this idea to make it more something that was selfless and not just about base jumping and about the community, but about those things and let's do something good for, for the people around us. For the last three years, while it's been this base jumping event that hundreds of base jumpers come from around the world to do, at the core of it now is, is a fundraising effort for search and rescue. You know, and, and what better way to, to repay the universe than to help search and rescue? A big part of how the Turkey Boogie event raises money for search and rescue is a raffle. So people pay X amount of dollars to get into the raffle and then we get a lot of cool companies uh, who sponsor the event. The other way money has been raised for search and rescue is through the documentary effort every year. The highlining aspect of the event the second year was incorporated by this, uh, this group of uh, renowned base jumpers and slackliners called the Moab Monkeys. And uh, Andy Lewis built this incredible contraption um, called the Space Net, and it was a thousand elastic bands woven together, suspended over the canyon floor by like five slack lines. It was, I mean, it was nuts. I mean, nuts. And as soon as video got out from the second Boogie event, um, that was it, you know, like everything blew up. Andy Lewis, I mean, his imagination is incredible because it just seems like something that would be out of a movie or something that wasn't possible and, and he made it possible. And so that helped raise the event to the next level. In large part why the Boogie has become such uh, an attractive event and such a world-renowned event is through the efforts of Andy Lewis. They call him Sketchy Andy because uh, of a lot of the sketchy things he does, but quite honestly when you meet Sketchy Andy there's really nothing sketchy about him. You talk to him, you interact with him, you see how he works. Uh, he's very meticulous, very thoughtful. This year when we filmed the boogie, we actually got to see the space net being set up. And that's when I had a real appreciation for how much work and how much thought Andy Lewis put into this apparatus, because it's so uh, complex. It's be vocal, but there should be like 10 people per line. It doesn't have to be pulling it super tight. You guys can let it down and just keep down there and sag, like to adjust the angles. So yeah, let's do it. So half of you guys and three team captains are gonna go to the- You know, watching the space net set up, uh, I mean, it really takes a village, you know, and uh, it, was, it was a team effort and it was awesome to watch Andy uh, carry out his vision of the SpaceNet uh, in reality and also um, orchestrating this with, with teams of people to get this set up. And I now have even a greater appreciation for the SpaceNet having watched it be set up. Okay, on three, 540 times, you guys are gonna go slowly. With the help of like 80 to 100 people, and over the course of an hour, they set this thing up, and you can see Andy running back and running forth and guiding everybody. And not only do you have this really deep respect and admiration for Andy for thinking this out and planning it, you also understand the admiration and respect everybody has for Andy as, they, as Andy guides and mentors them uh, how to set this thing up, and it was so cool to watch. After the space net was set up, it only seemed fair that Andy take the first walk out, right? Andy, are you scared? I always am scared, babe. I guess there's some reassurance knowing that he's harnessed in, but it's, it still takes your breath away as he gets up and stands up very carefully 
and starts making his first step. Watching Andy tether in and, and get on that line, and even though he was harnessed in, I mean, it's that space net is hundreds of feet out there, and there's hundreds of feet below him. 